Why, hello there everyone, and um, I have to say sorry, because I have not uploaded videos in what feels like forever, but um, this should now be over, I hope, now I'm back settled into life a bit better, and things work better as well. I have a slight cold, so my voice is a little shit at the moment. But as you may be able to see in the video, the footage I recorded for this, I did record in July. So it's a little bit older and I was planning on making the second part of the tutorial series right after the first one. However, at the end of July, I moved out of the country. I moved to Switzerland and I started an apprenticeship as a car mechanic. So a lot of things happened and I finally found the time to edit this video so I hope you accept my apologies for not uploading for so long but I hope I can now get back into some sort of uh, working timetable for video uploads so you may see some more regular uploads from now on however I already promised this like about a year ago so who knows what will really happen, but I will definitely try to put out videos at some places, points in the time of life, I guess. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this little tutorial now and uh, see you in the next one. Why hello there everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Assetto Corsa making a mod series in which we will be creating a mod from the ground up. Last time we started with the files, just created a project folder and sorted out the files within that. And this time we will be starting with the 3D work, which is no doubt the main part of making a mod. So you need a 3D software of your choice. I will be using Blender because it is quite amazing considering it is free so um i would suggest you use blender if you have cinema 4d or 3ds max and use any of these you are obviously free to use whatever you want i'm just going to make this for blender before i start with the actual tutorial i want you to know that you need to have some sort of basic knowledge of how to use blender because this is not something you do as a beginner. Making a as an Assetto Corsa mod requires at least a little bit of knowledge on how to insert things, how to configure certain things a certain way. I'm going to give explanations for, for some things, but definitely not for everything. So I would suggest you get some basic knowledge of how to use Blender. There is a ton of tutorials on YouTube where it is being explained really really well and I'm certain you will find something. Today though I'm not going to explain anything as I said already and we will just be going straight into the process of creating a mod. So the first thing of course is that you need an empty scene so we're just going to delete the camera right here and now we need our 3D model. In my case that would be a 2010 Mazda 2 model which is the mod I'm going to create here. 3D model models you can find on websites such as CG Trader which is a great place where you can find a lot of free 3D models or just try searching the internet in general. Now here we have the model and it is a bit well, it's not the way it is supposed to be. So firstly, I'm going to rotate it into the up again. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to scale it down. With this, um, when you import a model with that size, most of the time they are 100th the size of what it is supposed to be. So I'm just gonna size it down. And here we have the model but we can simply check whether it is the right size by going into the internet and looking for the cast dimensions we find ourselves again on the automobile catalog page which I told you about last time which has for basically every model quite a lot of um, information and gear ratios and stuff like that which is useful for making a set of course mods 
but what we want to know is in the basic dimensions the length width or height i'm always going for the length because that is the simplest way simply just copy this number or just remember the number that is given here we want the millimeters not the inches we want the millimeters so 3905 and with that we go back into blender open up a second collection i have a lot set here already you can either click on this icon up here to create a new collection or hover with the mouse over there and hit c but i already have one so i'm going to select that go over here shift a to add a cube then i'm going to move this up on so it sits on the floor look from the side now you hit n to bring up this panel on the side go onto item and in the dimensions panel we're going to set the y value to the value that we say solve for the length we have three axes we have the green one which is the y axis the red one which is the x axis and the blue one which is the z axis so we're going to resize this on the y axis so we're just going to write in here 3905 add a little bit of millimeters and hit enter Blender can calculate that into meters, which I could have just said. And now we have this box, though we can't really see the car. So I'm just going to hide this again. We are going to go into the X-ray mode by clicking up here or hitting Alt Z. And if we move this now, there we go. Then we can see the car fits into the box. So it is scaled properly. Always make sure that you scale the car properly because that is in fact very important. If you have to rescale the model, please make sure that you always rescale it towards the origin point, which is like the world origin, which is down here. You can simply do that by setting the three cursor, 3D cursor, which is this circle right here, to that by hitting Shift S and then clicking on cursor to world origin then having the whole car selected and then we go up here to this and click 3d cursor then we scale towards the 3d cursor when we rescale stuff but we don't need to do this so i'm going to delete the box now and we can take a look at the car the first thing we need to do of course is apply the scale of the model or else we will have a massive car when we go into a set of course so we hit a to select everything Control a and apply scale now the scale is applied we can see that by selecting any object going into the object properties panel over here and scale now says one so it is the scale is now applied there's two more steps that we will be talking about in this video the first step is setting up the empties you need for a set of Corsa to recognize this as a car. And the second step is to optimize the model a little bit because a set of Corsa does like when stuff is too highly detailed. We will be starting just the other way around with optimizing the model. There's not much to optimize on this car. Though sometimes you do have to watch out for stuff such as light bulbs. So if we just select these here and hide that, we can see that there's light bulbs in here. Because, well, the car does have light bulbs because it has lights. But if we go into edit mode, so we hit tab, we can see how damn detailed they are and a set of Corsa can only handle so many vertices so these points on one object so technically we would have to um, separate all these objects from each other like all these meshes from each other but since we don't really need the bulbs themselves we can just simply delete them because then we have a lot less geometry in the whole thing which makes loading the mod into a game or just playing in general a way smooth experience so with these removed let's just check the front whether there is a separate object for these and yes there is so we're gonna select the light bulbs 
and delete that and I've seen with the see-through mode there is one down here as well delete these and just alt H to unhide stuff and there we go we have select we have optimized a part of the model now we can also quickly look up here but there's nothing that is good the next part that needs to be optimized is the tires if the tire is too highly detailed a Sato Corsa is going to simply just die and we don't want the Sato Corsa to die on our tires so at the very least we need to remove this track object which is on top of the actual tire right here um, which I'm going to do now so just remove the detailed parts if for you these two objects are one we will be replacing them anyway but in this case I can uh, just delete the track and technically this could work as a vehicle now the 3d model is ready to be used in game like that of course it is not set up to work but it is not going to crash the game just because of the detail now we have these weird looking tires left um, you may even not have these tires left but none at all but that is not an issue because I will be replacing these tires anyway with a set of tires from an Assetto Corsa 3D model because these already have textures that work with them and we don't have to go through the whole trouble of making our very own textures so I will be just reusing 3D assets where I can I would always suggest you do that as well because it just makes the life way way easier though I will not be importing and setting these up now today we're just going to do go over the empties and then I'm done for this video The empties you will definitely need in order for the car to work in a Sato Corsa is the steering empty, the wheel empties and the suspension empties. And these are really really easy to set up. I'm going to show you that on the example of the front left wheel and of course the steering wheel. So we are here looking at our precious front left rim. And if we go into edit mode we can and see through mode we can see that there is a vertice right here in the middle and that is what we want so we select that shift s cursor to selected then we exit the edit mode and also can go disable the x-ray mode and now we have our 3d cursor here and now we're going to create an empty so we hit shift a go down to empty and normally i would use the plane axis one but for the per of demonstration I'm going to use arrows now because that has the axes labeled on them so we know exactly what is going on because a Saturn Corsa is a game and games normally have the Y axis as their axis that goes from top to bottom so what we have to do is rotate the empty along the X axis 90 degrees so we have the Y axis up above now we're going to go into the front view mode which you can do by hitting one on the numpad or you click on the minus y up here and we're going to move the empty towards the middle of the rim now there we go we have the empty and if we go look into here we have our empty right here this empty needs to be labeled wheel lf so we hit F2 to rename the object and then all in caps wheel underscore LF. This is needed for a set of course to notice that all the objects that are basically bound to this empty are the wheel in the left front corner of the car. Now we are going to assign the um, objects to the empty. So I'm going to select all of the objects that I want to have rotate and turn with the wheel which does not include the brake caliper if we look okay that's everything but the caliper the caliper does not rotate with the wheel so it is not going to be part of the wheel lf empty so if we have all of these selected we're going to go over here and just drag them down hold shift and assign them to the wheel lf empty and if we now rotate this the wheel rotates with it. 
perfect. But what about the caliper now? For example, if the car were to steer, the caliper would just stay there. Of course, that is an issue. But remember, I also mentioned the suspension MTs, which is what we're going to create now. So with the wheel LF MT selected, I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate it. Right click to cancel the movement. But now we can see we have two wheel LF MTs. And the second one we're going to rename to susp underscore lf for suspension left front and this right here is going to do the same steering moves as the wheel lf but it's not going to do the rotating as the wheel lf so it is ideal for our caliper i'm just going to find it up here and go down and set this empty as its parent and now if we use this empty it rotated we can see the caliper rotates with it and here we have the whole thing rotating perfect now we have set up the front left corner of the car the same thing of course goes for the rest of the wheels as well so i'm going to skip through this Now here we have the car with all of the empties set correctly. Now there's one last empty that is also needed and that would be the steering empty which turns the steering wheel and that for I'm going to just hide these windows and the car sadly doesn't have a good interior but at this point any interior is better than no interior and even without an interior we could we still would have to create the steering empty so I'm just going to create a new empty. Again, normally I use the plain axis one, but for showcase, now I'm going to use the arrows one. Again, we have to rotate it so the Y is facing upwards. And then I'm just going to quickly select these two, isolate the objects. And now I'm going to move this over here, then I'm going to rotate this bit so it is in here and last but not least just move it over there so it is roughly at the center of the steering column unisolated call this empty steer underscore HR for high resolution this is the necessary one and technically we could just leave it like that but I do in fact want the steering wheel to be turning so I'm going to select these three and just set them as child objects again drag them up hold shift let go of the left mouse button and now if we have this rotate here the steering wheel rotates Whoop, oh one second there we go now we could import this car into the game and it would not crash because of the immense detail which we took care of and it would also not crash because we have set up all the necessary empties though it would crash because the car does not have any materials but the materials will be done next time this is all we're going to do today it is small steps yes but small steps also lead to victory even though it may take a bit longer but we're going to do the safe route here and not the one where we are where we end up with something that doesn't work and we're sorry in the end i hope you had fun at least to the degree that you can have fun with a tutorial with tutorial video and until next time stay safe everyone and 